of the enchanted forest, where the trees whispered secrets and the flowers danced in the breeze, lived a gnome named Grumpy. Grumpy was known far and wide for his loud voice and irritable nature. He spent his days shouting at anyone who dared to come near his cozy mushroom house. Every morning, Grumpy would stomp around the forest, yelling at the birds for singing too loudly and scolding the squirrels for running too quickly. The other creatures in the forest tried to befriend him, but Grumpy's sharp words and constant complaining drove them away. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? Grumpy would grumble to himself. One sunny day, as Grumpy was out gathering mushrooms, he encountered a cheerful young fairy named Lila. She floated gracefully beside him, her wings shimmering in the sunlight. Good morning, Grumpy, Lila chirped with a bright smile. What's so good about it? Grumpy snapped. Leave me be. Lila, unfazed by Grumpy's gruff demeanor, replied gently. It's a beautiful day, and the forest is full of wonders. Wouldn't it be nice to enjoy it with friends? Grumpy huffed and turned away, but Lila's words lingered in his mind. That night, as Grumpy lay in bed, he couldn't shake the feeling of loneliness. The moonlight streamed through his window, casting a soft glow in his room. For the first time, he realized how quiet his house was, with no laughter or chatter to fill the air. The next morning, Grumpy woke up with a new resolve. He decided to try something different. Instead of his usual routine of shouting and complaining, he would offer a kind word or a helping hand to those he met. As he walked through the forest, Grumpy saw a family of rabbits struggling to carry their carrots. Remembering his promise to himself, he approached them with a smile. Would you like some help with those? He asked. The rabbits hesitated at first, surprised by his change in tone. But when Grumpy lifted a heavy carrot and placed it in their burrow, they beamed with gratitude. Thank you, Grumpy! They exclaimed. You're very kind! Feeling a warmth in his heart that he had never experienced before, Grumpy continued on his way. Throughout the day, he helped a hedgehog find its way home, assisted a bird in building its nest, and shared stories with the foxes by the riverbank. As word of Grumpy's newfound kindness spread, the creatures of the forest began to approach him more often. They invited him to picnics, asked him to join their games, and shared their stories with him. Grumpy found himself laughing and smiling more than he ever had before. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Lila the fairy visited Grumpy again. I see you've made many friends, she said with a twinkle in her eye. Grumpy nodded, a soft smile playing on his lips. I didn't realize how wonderful it is to be kind and have friends. He admitted, Thank you, Lila, for showing me the way. With that, Grumpy and Lila watched the stars fill the sky, surrounded by the joyful chatter of their friends. The forest, once filled with Grumpy's angry shouts, now echoed with laughter and happiness. And so, Grumpy the gnome learned that kindness and friendship were far more rewarding than being alone.